Hi everybody, it's Nikki, um, and I am here with a video that is my personal experience, not to be used as medical advice. Um, and it's really, truly my personal experience. It might not even pertain to or be true for you and your um, 670G. Uh, the reason I am doing this is because I'm kind of hot on this topic lately. You know, I spend way too much, admittedly way too much time on user groups. Um, I'm weaning myself, but... Uh, and there is so much discussion about people trying to figure out what's behind their postprandial highs and what's behind their, their morning BG rises and everything else. Um, in reality, there's a million and one things behind all of, the, you know, all of that. Um, it's not going to be just Dawn phenomenon and it's not going to be just a minimum delivery. I mean, everybody out there has got their own habits, their own eating, what they did the night before, you know, whatever. Um, but there is an enormous amount of discussion taking part by people who have known their diabetes for years and all of a sudden they can't eat two eggs and a piece of bacon um, without having it send them high. Um, in those cases, that's where, that, I guess it, it is those cases that, that makes me want to share this video. Um, I'm going to show you uh, a, a small kind of zoomed in piece of a Carolink report. Um, and I'm going to show you what I saw regularly with minimum delivery. And before I show you, I'd like to tell you that um, minimum delivery does not have to be two and a half hours. I think that there's some um, misunderstanding about it. It has to max out at two and a half hours before auto mode will say, okay, something's not right, kick you into safe basil but it can be five minutes. It can be one missed microbolus. I mean, it, all it means is just that you didn't get your microbolus right there. Um, that's not a technical definition, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. What I do know is there can be 10 or 12 minutes of minimum delivery, as well as two hours and 18 minutes. You know, I mean, it's, it's this big window. Um, what I do know for my own diabetes is if I turn my pump off for two hours and 18 minutes and then turned it back on, I wouldn't see it right away but an hour later or however long afterwards, um, I would see a climb. Um, now maybe I just exercised, maybe the climb wouldn't be as high or it would be slower or whatever, but there would be no denying a climb that would come after a, a, a minimum delivery, a suspend, right? Um, so I know most of you diabetics, we are, we are insulin dependent. Um, and I do think and I, I get nervous even saying it, but I do think that the 670G overall delivers less insulin than pumps before. And I cannot say that about the 630. It's possible people were already getting this on the 630. I went on the 630. I had two threshold suspends that sent my sugars very high and I turned my threshold suspend off and I just said, I'm not gonna do that. Um, then I came on this and forgot all about it and spent months trying to figure out what was behind my postprandial highs. So. I'd like to share this, um, and before I do, I will show you that, I mean, these are my binders of logs, and the only reason I'm showing you is because, and these are my binders of Carolink reports, um, and I show you that so that you don't think it's the, you know, I, I last week at one time it happened, and then I'm here to report it. Um, it's time and time again it was happening, and I see patterns all over the place, especially in Carolink, and especially on the graph screen. Um, so for those who are in auto mode who love it and they're and they don't have any problems then disregard this because it don't turn it off because um, This doesn't pertain to you and you maybe see it every now and then you don't see or maybe you don't see it at all But to people who are going like this and they can't figure out why here's an idea. That's it. Okay, so here's my Carolink report um, Here here's what I have This right here. These lines are microboluses. Um, this right here with no lines is a period of minimum delivery in this case, this was an overnight, this, this was after dinner. Um, so this is 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. As you can see, my blood sugar is falling, which initiated, or yeah, I guess initiated um, the minimum delivery. This was a long period of minimum delivery. And this was before, I don't know what date this was, but I didn't get out into manual mode to stop it, which meant I didn't know yet that that's what was happening. So here I have probably two hours, maybe two and a half, hours, but it doesn't, there's no safe basil, so I, I didn't do the full two and a half. So let's say two hours of minimum delivery, and then you can see this spike. Um, my blood sugar at, that looks like maybe around 10 o'clock, went from a 100 to a 300 um, with no carbs, no anything. Um, 
the last that I did a food bolus was right around maybe 6.45 or 7 o'clock. Um, di I didn't spike three hours later from the food. I mean, I spiked three hours later from not having insulin for two hours. Um, now I will show you, okay, so I'll show you the next part. So now I start to spike. Here comes auto mode trying to help me, right? Now the way I see it is auto mode caused it, right? That's a very mean thing. I, I, I wish auto mode well, but, but I'm not in it right now. So that's okay, we'll bash it. Um, I'm not bashing it. Okay, anyway, the auto mode is trying to help. Okay, so it's giving me very high microboluses. In fact, this is kind of looking like max basal. Um, but you can see, even with its best efforts, it can't do anything about that. I do a, at least not, I guess, I, well, no, I, I shouldn't say that. It can't do it for the first couple of hours. It can't stop it. I do a small correction. Well, no, not a small correction. I do a three and a half unit correction. Um, it continues to give me big microboluses. And then here I have this fall. This fall sets off the next period of minimum delivery, which sets off the next period of a blood sugar spike, which sets off the next period of the max basal. Um, Here's another one. Here's another one. Here's another spike. Now you can see each one is going to be a little bit different because it's going to depend on how much insulin you have on board, whether or not you were starting at, whether or not your minimum delivery was starting at a 50 or a 90. I mean, it's, um, so not all of those periods are bad, but they are all periods without insulin. And that's what, that's all it is. So if I go out here to the week, that was two days. That was one day two days, I guess, that I showed you, over 24 hours. Um, but here's the week. So now you can see how much minimum delivery and then the blood sugar spike I had. I mean, you can see there's a minimum delivery, there's a spike. Uh, here's minimum delivery, here goes the spike. Minimum delivery, here goes the spike. Minimum delivery, see, this is a smaller spike. You know, I mean, it's... Um, and some of them are enormous. And I think that people don't really understand yet what that minimum delivery is. Um, and maybe I'm wrong, because that is always a very good possibility. And even more possible than that with this, because I don't think I'm wrong that that's what, that's what was happening to me. Even more possible is that maybe this doesn't have the same effect on you. Um, but because I am my own diabetic and that's just what it is, but I, but it sounds like on the boards that this is what is happening. Um, and a lot of people are stuck on their own, um, user error as a, as, a, um, as opposed to, you know, maybe something that the pump is doing. It's surprising. It's the first pump that is actually doing a lot, you know, whereas before we were always in control and we did everything. That would be for you good diabetics that were in control. I was not in any kind of control until I came on this thing. And then I wanted the control and I couldn't get it. And here I sit in manual mode going hard. But this is, I should say, sharing this information is in, and I mean this, is in no way to discourage people from using manual mode. It's people are changing settings. Um, it's narrowing down and figuring out what are you changing settings for? Because if, if what I need to fix is two hours of no insulin, that might not just be active insulin time. That might be something different and it might be a, a conversation worth having with your, end, your endocrinologist or your trainer. Um, I have these pockets where I'm not getting any insulin whatsoever and I see these extended highs. You know, what setting, if there's a setting, can I do to get that? Should have quit while I was ahead. Um, thank you very much and have a good day, bye.